Did you know that fructose, the sugar in fruit, has a huge impact in your overall health and visceral fat accumulation? Let's start by understanding visceral fat. This is the type of fat that wraps around your internal organs, including your liver, pancreas, and intestines. Unlike subcutaneous fat, which lies just under the skin, visceral fat is stored deeper in the abdominal cavity. While some visceral fat is necessary to cushion organs and provide energy, excess visceral fat is associated with various health risks. This type of fat is metabolically active, meaning it can influence hormone production and increase inflammation in the body. High levels of visceral fat are linked to an increased risk of metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. What is fruit made of? Now let's shift our focus to fruit. Fruit is a natural source of essential nutrients and consists primarily of water, carbohydrates that include natural sugars, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and a variety of beneficial plant compounds. Each fruit has its own unique combination of these components, contributing to its specific health benefits and flavor profile. The sugars in fruit, mainly fructose and glucose, are naturally occurring and are packed alongside nutrients that provide an array of health benefits. What is fructose? Fructose is a simple sugar found naturally in fruits, honey, and root vegetables. It's one of the components of table sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Unlike glucose, which is absorbed directly into the bloodstream, fructose is only metabolized in the liver. It doesn't cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels, but can impact the liver if consumed in high amounts from processed foods and fruit juices. In fruit, fructose is accompanied by fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants, which mitigate its potential adverse effects. What is fiber? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that the body cannot digest. It passes relatively intact through the stomach, small intestine, and colon and out of the body. Fiber is classified into two types, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber dissolves in water to form a gel-like substance, helping lower blood glucose and cholesterol levels. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to the stool, aiding in digestion and regularity. Fiber in fruit helps slow digestion, providing a more gradual release of energy and promoting a feeling of fullness. What are the effects of fructose in the body? When consumed in excess, particularly from processed foods, juices, and sugary beverages, fructose can have several negative effects. Since fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver, excessive intake can lead to increased fat production in the liver, contributing to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fructose doesn't trigger insulin secretion, or enhance the production of hormones that regulate hunger and satiety, potentially leading to increased calorie consumption and weight gain. In addition, fructose intake can elevate triglyceride levels in the blood, increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease. It also contributes to insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes. However, when fructose is consumed in its natural form, within fruit, it comes with fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants which mitigate these adverse effects and provide health benefits. What are the effects of fiber in fruit? Fiber in fruit offers numerous health benefits, particularly concerning digestion and metabolism. Soluble fiber helps slow the digestion and absorption of sugars, preventing blood sugar spikes and improving glycemic control. It also aids in lowering cholesterol levels by binding to cholesterol in the digestive tract and facilitating its excretion from the body. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to stool promoting regular bowel movements and preventing constipation. Additionally, fiber provides a feeling of fullness, which can help reduce overall calorie intake and support weight management. Effects of polyphenols in fruit. Polyphenols are natural compounds found in fruits that provide antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and cardioprotective properties. For example, urolithin A, a polyphenol derived from elagitanins found in pomegranates, has been shown to improve mitochondrial function and support cellular health. Urolithin A helps combat age-related decline by enhancing muscle function and endurance. Hippuric acid, a metabolite of polyphenols found in forest berries, has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. It supports gut health by modulating the gut microbiome and promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. Polyphenols in fruit protect cells from oxidative stress, reduce inflammation, and support overall health. Visceral fat and in functions. Visceral fat, despite its negative connotations, serves several essential functions. It provides cushioning and protection for internal organs, serves as a reserve for energy, and produces hormones like adipokinase, which help regulate inflammation and metabolism. However, when visceral fat levels become too high, the balance shifts from beneficial to harmful. 
Excess visceral fat effects on metabolic health. Visceral fat significantly affects metabolic health due to its proximity to vital organs and its active role in hormone production. It releases inflammatory markers and free fatty acids into the bloodstream, which can interfere with the body's ability to regulate insulin and blood sugar levels. This process increases the risk of developing insulin resistance, a condition where cells become less responsive to insulin and struggle to absorb glucose from the bloodstream. Over time, insulin resistance can lead to type 2 diabetes, a metabolic disorder characterized by chronic high blood sugar levels. Furthermore, excess visceral fat is associated with metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions that increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. These conditions include elevated blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol levels. Visceral fat, effects on cardiovascular health. This fat type contributes to inflammation and the release of free fatty acids, which can lead to atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by the buildup of plaques in the arteries. Atherosclerosis can restrict blood flow, increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Additionally, visceral fat is associated with higher levels of LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and lower levels of HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, elevating the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, the inflammatory substances produced by visceral fat can cause endothelial dysfunction, where the inner lining of blood vessels does not function correctly, impairing blood flow and increasing blood pressure. Fruit, gut, and visceral fat connection. The connection between fruit, gut health, and visceral fat is complex and intriguing. Fruits rich in fiber and polyphenols support a healthy gut microbiome by promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. A balanced microbiome plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy weight, reducing inflammation, and regulating metabolism. Certain fruits, such as berries and pomegranates, contain compounds that positively influence gut bacteria, enhancing metabolic health and reducing visceral fat. These fruits provide antioxidants that combat oxidative stress and support the body's natural detoxification processes. Consuming a diet rich in diverse fruits can help maintain a healthy gut microbiome, improve digestive health, and support the reduction of visceral fat. A healthy gut environment contributes to overall metabolic function, reducing the risk of obesity and related chronic diseases. What bacteria strains are related to more visceral fat? Several gut bacteria strains are associated with visceral fat levels and overall metabolic health. A higher ratio of firmicutes to bacteroidetes is often linked to increased fat storage and obesity. On the other hand, beneficial bacteria such as bifidobacterium and lactobacillus are associated with reduced visceral fat and improved metabolic health. These beneficial bacteria play a role in enhancing gut barrier function, reducing inflammation, and promoting the production of short-chain fatty acids, which are essential for maintaining metabolic balance. Maintaining a healthy gut microbiome with diverse bacterial strains can support metabolic health and reduce the risk of excess visceral fat. What fruits to eat? Dark berries such as blueberries and blackberries, are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. They support brain health, reduce inflammation, and promote heart health. The anthocyanins in dark berries have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Raspberries are a great source of dietary fiber and antioxidants. They help regulate blood sugar levels, support digestion, and promote a feeling of fullness. Raspberries polyphenols may aid in reducing inflammation, and protecting against chronic diseases. Pomegranates are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. They contain punic allergens and anthocyanins, which have anti-inflammatory and cardioprotective properties. Pomegranates support heart health, reduce oxidative stress, and enhance exercise performance. Other foods for visceral fat reduction. Green tea contains catechins, which are antioxidants that boost metabolism and enhance fat oxidation. Regular consumption of green tea may support weight loss and reduce visceral fat by increasing energy expenditure and improving metabolic health. Have 3 to 4 cups daily. Urolithina supplements, derived from polyphenols found in fruits like pomegranates, supports mitochondrial function and cellular health. Supplementing with urolithin. A may enhance muscle endurance, promote healthy aging, and support the reduction of visceral fat. Why eat fruit in moderation? Consuming them in moderation is important for maintaining balance in your diet. Fruits contain natural sugars, primarily fructose, which contributes to increased calorie intake if consumed excessively. For individuals with insulin resistance or diabetes, managing fruit intake is crucial to avoid blood sugar spikes.
Moderation ensures you benefit from the nutrients, fiber, and antioxidants in fruit without consuming excessive calories or sugar. How to burn visceral fat. Burning visceral fat requires a combination of healthy food habits, regular physical activity, and lifestyle modifications. Incorporate a balanced diet rich in whole foods, fiber, and antioxidants, while limiting processed foods and added sugars. Engage in regular aerobic exercises such as walking, jogging, or cycling to boost metabolism and promote fat loss. Strength training exercises can help build lean muscle mass, enhancing overall metabolic rate. Prioritize stress management techniques such as yoga or meditation to reduce cortisol levels and support weight management. Aim for adequate sleep to regulate hormones and support recovery. By adopting these strategies, you can effectively target visceral fat. In conclusion and to summarize today's video, understanding the relationship between belly fat and fruit consumption is essential for making informed health decisions. Visceral fat, though necessary in small amounts, can pose significant health risks when excessive, impacting metabolic and cardiovascular health. While fruits are rich in nutrients, fiber, and antioxidants, they should be consumed in moderation to avoid excessive fructose intake. The fiber and polyphenols in fruits, such as those in dark berries, raspberries, and pomegranates, support gut health and help reduce visceral fat by promoting a healthy microbiome and enhancing metabolic functions. Additionally, lifestyle choices like incorporating green tea and engaging in regular physical activity are crucial for managing visceral fat levels. By balancing moderate fruit intake with other healthy habits, you can support a healthy gut, maintain metabolic balance, and effectively manage visceral fat, ultimately contributing to improved overall health and well-being. Thank you for tuning in to Levitas. Please share today's video with friends and family, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. Your support is appreciated. It helps us grow and create more content to empower your health. Remain tuned to Levitas for more expert advice on your health and fitness journey. So, stay healthy, stay happy, and keep going.